Modern design is a quest. It is a process focused not just on creating, but on perfecting. Three years ago, Epic Aircraft declared its commitment to design and embarked on a journey to evolve the experience of flight, making it more intuitive, engaging, and fun. Epic is a product with payload and performance that is already changing the industry. And what we're doing is adding to that an interior, ergonomics, safety, styling, comfort, attention to detail that will raise the bar across all airplanes. That is because Epic involves its customers as a resource for inspiration. My job in this development is to advocate for the user experience. I try to enhance every interface and touch point that the pilot has with this airplane, influence everything the pilot can see, feel, or hear. So I begin by doing a lot of research. I interact with existing and future Epic users, and I learn as much as possible about how they fly ours and other aircraft. Then I get to work designing and solving problems and giving the customer both what they know they want, then going well beyond that to establish new expectations of design. The reason I'm able to make such a significant impact is because Epic is committed to integrating design early in the process and committed to prioritizing design right alongside engineering. Epic encourages its designers to think beyond the limitations of physics, finances, and production to envision those possibilities that are not only different, but also fundamentally better and then to find balance without compromising intent. The designers may dream it, but then must collaborate with engineering and manufacturing to deliver that inspiration to the customer. In a flight deck environment, the density of design is very high. I started with a lot of sketching. That's the fastest way to explore ideas. At the same time, I was moving components around in CAD, using a digital human mannequin to learn what was possible, to establish a pilot's eye point, hip point, reach zones, and sight lines. After I had a general idea where the components wanted to live, I transferred the development into a full-size clay model. Clay is very creative, it's like sketching in 3D. Clay shows you very accurately where you will have problems later if you don't fix them now. The team identified three design priorities on the flight deck. Enhance the design of the yoke, consolidate pilot workflow, and improve the pilot's ability to assimilate critical data. As the principal interface between plane and pilot, the yoke shape contours and position on the panel were designed to optimize sight lines, provide additional knee clearance, and conform perfectly to hand. The result is a sculpted balance of function, form, and style. To enhance pilot workflow, the team focused on optimizing movement, reach, and visibility. The E-1000 flight deck is intuitive, effortless, with key flight management systems strategically positioned and sequenced logically to reduce arm movement, minimize fatigue, and avoid shadowing displays. To improve data access, crucial flight safety functions were grouped together into a recessed wedge located just below the windscreen. This site-optimized annunciator panel enables the crew to quickly assimilate data during critical phases of flight when pilot attention is focused outside the aircraft. The E-1000 is a masterpiece of innovation, visually stunning and thrilling to fly. Testimony to the dedication of those who designed her and to the passion of those who will own her.